Teachers and education workers unions took no time to publicly announce their displeasure in the provincial government after announcing it's looking into making online learning a permanent choice post-pandemic. A joint press conference was held on May 5th, which included remarks from the Ontario Secondary School Teachers Federation. Cindy Gage is the Halton's Teachers Bargaining Unit president for OSSTF. She says making online learning permanent increases the inequities for many of their students. Most students learn best in classes with their teachers and the support staff, the education support staff there. So that is one of our main concerns. My members have seen that. Um, in their classes, the inequities as far as Wi-Fi, having the right technology, being able to access the learning, being able to build relationships with their teachers, all of those things do not work well or at all uh, during using an online platform. They work best when the kids are in schools with their teachers. One option for online learning and the one that is causing the most controversy for OSSTF and the other unions is the ability to offer fully independent learning to students, which would be run by TVO, Ontario's designated online high school. The concern there lies and relates back to the inequity. Uh, we as OSSTF and all of the education unions know and believe that qualified educators and teachers are the best mode of public education for our students. And if the government explores privatization, there is no guarantee that it is going to be qualified educators and teachers before the kids. And it is also taking the access out of it being public education. And again, exacerbating inequities because at some point there will be a fee associated with that online learning. That is what we know the government's plan is is to privatize public education and it has to be and kept the great equalizer for society because that's where students are accessing the knowledge that they then use to become productive citizens in society as a whole which benefits everyone. So what would OSSTF like to see post-pandemic? Well, Gage says there needs to be a focus on making sure there is proper support for educators. Teacher education workers needs directly relate and correlate to the needs of our students in our schools and our classrooms. And that is why we are out there. And that is why we had our job actions and strikes last school year was to continue to keep public and the betterment of the education that we provide our students. In an ideal perfect world, uh, we have the government and hold them to account to get the vaccination rollout on point and where it needs to be so that all education workers who choose to be are vaccinated completely with both shots. One shot isn't complete vaccination and we have to remember that before we get back to school in the September 21-22 school year and then that way we can have our students in classes with us um, and if that isn't going to happen because I know that is asking for a lot to be in a perfect world then we need the school boards, the ministry, and the public health officials to work together to maximize the amount of time that students can be in school safely with their educators. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.